if I have registered you and I activate face recognition, the audio will also follow you along through the frame, which is really, really nice. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D and I'm here with Tamar from Panasonic. Tamar, how are you? Hi, doing good. Exciting to be talking about a new product. Thank you. So you just a new um, vlogger's camera, the G100. Yeah, it's here right next to me. It's this one. And I'm saying C because it's very, very different from the look of the predecessor. Actually, there is no predecessor, so to speak, because it's not replacing any kind of camera. I mean, the naming might be confusing to some because it's, it's G100 and we do have a G90, but it's not replacing the G90. It's a whole new camera of its own. Okay, so when you say it's a whole new camera, let's go, um, let's say topic by topic. First of all, as I said before, it's a vlogger's camera. So obviously you identified a, a certain niche and you're trying to cater this niche. What is so special when it comes to vlogging? The point is that we have identified a need for a very compact and mobile device and we are really experts for making compact and mobile DSLM cameras in a time where people like to create stories, create multimedia stories um, and tell about themselves, tell about their lives. And especially now, in these difficult times, we see the need of people to have a device with them in order to show their world and what they're doing to everyone around there. And therefore we have created a small and mobile device that is also a full-fledged Lumix. And of course we have targeted it for these people who are the young content creators of today and tomorrow. So first of all, it is um, a micro four third camera. Exactly. Why did you choose micro four third? I know it's obvious, but let's hear it from you. <laughs> yeah. Why do you uh, choose a camera instead of a smartphone today? Because the smartphone you have always with you. It's very easy. You expect better quality. We didn't want to make it with a compact camera sensor that is small and not necessarily great in low light. Second of all, why do you step up? Because you want to be more creative. You want to be able to change lenses. So naturally, Micro Four Thirds gives you over 90 native lenses. So you can really, really become creative far beyond what your smartphone or another compact camera will let you do. We're going to talk mostly about the video capabilities of the camera. But just before uh, we talk about what's new, let's talk about what is not new. How about the sensor and the processor? The sensor and the processor are something that people know from G90. So it's not a step down, although the camera is smaller. So you do have the 20.3 megapixel, which gives you plenty of resolution for your projects. And with this one, when we talk about video, how did you spec it up? First of all, let's go from all the way up, which means it can shoot 4K video up to 30p? Yes, exactly. We have 4K 30p in this camera and of course full HD up to 60p. And talking about specking it up, the nice thing is that this camera will grow with you in your capabilities. So when you start video blogging and you don't know a lot about videography, it doesn't matter. This camera picks you up where you are. You have all the automatic function that you want. But on the other hand, if you grow more professional, you can work all your way up to working with Vlog. So Vlog L is included in this camera from the start, from the beginning. No firmware update necessary no spending necessary. So you can pick up this camera as a beginner or as a pro. By the way, I said 4K up to 30p, so it's important to say that there is also 24 and 25p. There is also the uh, 25. I think also the 24, you actually got me there. I need to look in the specs later. <laughs> okay, and Full HD, you said up to 60p. Uh, this camera cannot do a higher frame rate? Yes, of course it can. In a regular, um, regular speed, it goes up to 60p, but it does have the slow and quick recording possibility. So you got, can undercrank and overcrank up to 120p. Tamar, when it comes to the uh, bitrate specifications in 4K and in Full HD, can you please uh, share with us some specifications? Yes, of course. We do have 4K in up to 100 Mbit per second, and in Full HD, it's 28 Mbit per second. With such a small camera, obviously you will need some kind of stabilizing system, especially when you're running and gunning or doing vlogging. How did you equip that camera? 
That camera has a totally new stabilizing system. It is hybrid, but since we wanted to shrink the camera as much as possible, we didn't stabilize the sensor. So it works hybridly with uh, the optical stabilization from the lens and an electronic image stabilization that we have put inside, which then also works with five axes. Is there any crop into the image when you are uh, using both? Yeah, there is, there is this little crop, but it's really small. Can you give us some factor, like crop factor, or this is a secret? No, it's not a secret. It's just depending so much on the situation. It depends on the lens. It depends on your personal abilities. It depends on what focal lengths you're in. So that's why we don't disclose, because it's naturally not always the same. So I guess what left is for us to test it and see and then decide if it's really a big crop factor or not. I'll, I'll remember this. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Anything else about the picture or the video quality? Anything that I forgot? Oh yeah, there are some, some really interesting things, especially for video. Um, let me first of all mention the selfie mode. So whenever you switch this articulated viewfinder to 180 degree facing yourself, this camera by default will turn into the selfie mode, which will stop down the aperture in order to ensure that you are in focus by face detection anyway, but also your background is clearly visible. So you actually decided to keep everything in focus in selfie mode, not to isolate the subject like me, the person from the background. Uh, wh why is this decision? That is because the blogger himself or herself becomes as important as the content. So in today's world, they want to see both. They want to be seeing who's talking and what is the person talking about. Naturally, this is optional. So you can turn off the automation in selfie mode. The default of the selfie mode will stop down. But you're not limited. When you talked about autofocus, this camera is also a contrast-based autofocus? In principle of technology, uh, the same that our cameras before it have. So it's a combination of contrast-based autofocus, of the so-called depth from defocus DFD technology, which is based on a vector and spatial detection in order to get there quickly. And, and people may never forget, there's a big chunk of intelligent um, uh, image analysis involved. So all three of those together, contrast AF, DFD AF, and image analysis form the Lumix AF. By the way, when you film yourself, is there a tally light, something that I can see that I'm actually filming myself, or there's another way to tell that I'm uh, filming myself? Yes, very good point. Um, the G100 has inherited something that we have established with the S1H, and that's a red frame indication for recording. So when you do hit the record button successfully, you will see a red frame around the image. So you have immediate uh, notification, you're rolling. Nice, and let's move and talk about audio because this is one of the main selling points of this camera and you kind of revamp the audio uh, function of this camera. Tell me all about it. The G100 has a very new and unique audio microphone and capsule on top. We have partnered with Nokia and the technology inside here is called Ozo Audio. Ozo Audio uses a microphone capsules with three microphones that are um, software based together and that can have an intelligent sound pickup. In reality, that means you have several modes to choose from with your internal audio, which is either automatic, then uh, the camera itself will decide what's the polar pattern we need. Or we can have a manual choice of those. We can go front, such as I'm recording a band playing. I can choose back, meaning I'm showing my world, I'm talking from behind. I can select Omni 360, which is called surround in the camera and which is also the default setting. And last but not least, we have a tracking mode. And that's very unique. So the tracking mode corresponds to the face detection and also the face recognition of Lumix, meaning that the characteristic and the polar pattern of the microphone capsule goes with your subject. So if a person is detected and tracking is activated in audio, the person will move through the frame and the audio, the microphone in characteristic will follow. So if I'm moving from the left side of the frame to the right side of the frame, so will the polar pattern. And that's particularly nice. And what's really nice is that it works together with the image recognition. That means if I have registered you in my camera, I've taken a portrait, 
told the camera, that's Johnny. And I activate face recognition, the audio will also follow you along through the frame, which is really, really nice. And we really hope that this feature will set us apart when it comes to video blogging. One last thing, if you do want to record in a studio or you have other needs, there is a microphone jack on this camera. There's also a headphone jack? There is no headphone jack. So many nice features, no headphone jack. No headphone jack. Ah, you made me sad. Happy, but sad. <laughs> That's us. All the emotions. All the emotions. So we have no headphones jack and we cannot really check the levels, but at least is there any visual way to monitor the sound? Yes, there is. Actually, the possibilities to control your audio on display are the same uh, that we have, for example, in the G9, which I'm using right now to record this. So you can uh, put the level uh, on your display and you can have a limitation. So you can put in a limit, you can manually turn it down or you can leave it on auto, however you prefer. And by this, uh, you can control it very nicely. Also, wine cut, etc., is possible in G100. Okay, you have this uh, little hand grip. This is completely new? This is completely new. It's a combination of a grip, so we can have a nice hold when we film. And it does have trigger buttons, a red one for the video and a black one for the photography. It does have a sleep button and it is connected to the camera via USB because it is plug-in power, so it doesn't need an independent power source. It doesn't. You don't need to remember to charge the grip if you want to take it out. And it unfolds to be used as a tiny little tripod as well. It's a brand new product, especially made uh, with this camera. But if you have a Lumix G9, GH5 and a few other models, you will be able to uh, use a firmware update. So it will also talk to your camera. You spoke about the USB connector and part of yes. this modern vlogging stuff is also live streaming. Yes. Can I use the camera for live streaming? The grip itself has a USB uh, micro connector and through USB micro connector, you cannot live stream as of now. What you can do is you can utilize the HDMI output via a capture device because the camera does have a clean HDMI output. How about pricing and availability? The availability is planned worldwide end of July, moving forward from then. It really depends a little bit on where you are. So if you're in a remote corner of the world, it might take a little bit into August. And the pricing also depends a little bit on your region. In Europe, here we have the kit for 749 euros. And the kit includes what exactly? The kit depends. Uh, the, the K kit is including the 12 to 32 millimeter lens. Then there is a V kit, which includes the 12 to 32 millimeter lens and the grip. And then there is a kit that's called W, which includes the former plus HFS 35 100. So the corresponding small compact tele lens to the 12 32. Okay. And the price that you gave the 749 was euros was actually for which of the kits now? That was the so-called K kit. So the K kit is same price in US dollar or Euro 749 with the 1232. So the, the V kit, which includes the lens and the grip would be 799. And the W kit with both lenses will bring you to 949. Okay, Tamar, there's anything else that you want to uh, say about the product before we say thank you? Well, there's so much, as I said, it's a full fledged Lumix. And in particular for this target group, so the younger audience, the ones that are on the move, there is a myriad of filters in there. So from, from if you want to slim yourself up a little bit, so there's a slim filter in there, which is particularly for this audience, something they want. So all these kind of filters are integrated in there. Don't tell me that you can also film vertically. Come on. Oh yeah, of course you can. Um, of course you can. Vertical filming is integrated and so are um, frame markers. So if you do want to deliver to several sources, such as 16 by nine for your YouTube channel, but at the same time, you know, you need to have a five by four vertical for your Instagram. Yes, you have this. This brings me to another point. Thank you, Johnny. Of course, image transfer is crucial for this generation of people. And we do have apps, the Panasonic image uh, app for the, for the uh, Lumix G series older cameras and the Lumix Sync app, which we've launched with our S series. And if you want to transfer your images slash videos, there is a little button on top. 
It's labeled FN4 and that's the image transfer button. You hit this button and that single image will be transferred in no time to your smart device. Just before I forget, and that's really my last question, uh, is there any time limit recording when it comes to 4K video? For recording, yes, there is. Um, in order to make this camera the way we made it, small, fast, portable, we've decided to go with a limitation of 10 minutes for 4K footage, 20 minutes for full HD footage. But when you're live streaming, then you don't record, so you don't have any time limitation. So if you're the generation live stream and you do want to hook up your uh, camera with a clean HDMI to your capture device, you don't have to worry. No limitation at all. Tamar, I'm the generation of, thank you very much. <laughs> it was really, really nice talking to you. And in all honesty, I would love to put my hands on this camera and see how it reacts and capture some images with it or videos, should I say. Thank you, Johnny. It was a pleasure. Thanks for doing this with us. And uh, I am very sure that there is a G100 on the way for you to test. Thanks again. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.